and welcome back to my channel. This is the start of weekly vlog 22. As you can see, I am in my filming bit because I have just recorded my Disneyland Paris merchandise haul. So by the time you guys watch this vlog, it will be up. It's going to be going up tomorrow, hopefully. So Wednesday for me, but last week for you guys. And it's actually Tuesday. So I'm sorry I didn't record yesterday. You're probably getting used to it now. You're probably getting used to it by now that I find it hard to record on a Monday because I spend all day editing the weekly vlog and um, plus I started using my new system yesterday so it did take a little bit longer and um, just because I have no idea how to use it and it took three hours to make the intro which you'll probably just watched a second ago and I'm very proud of it it took three hours to do that and it's so simple and I still need to make an outro and all that sort of thing but I really wanted to get this video recorded because I haven't looked at my merchandise since Disneyland and I've just got it all out and I'm proper like getting I got Ariel out and I nearly cried I was like oh my god I mean, you'll have probably seen the merchandise haul now, but look, Ariel's here, Ariel's here. I mean, how gorgeous is that? And she's in Music Box. So make sure you check out my Disneyland Paris merchandise haul. If you haven't already, it will definitely be up by the time this video is up. But this is my prize possession. This is my favorite piece from my trip last week. I still can't believe I've already been and gone. Like, it was so amazing. Um, he is Hannah Marie Magic. She's amazing. I met her in Disneyland. You guys know that I love Hannah. Like, I've shown her ears on my vlogs before. Top Primark. So, yeah, um, I'm sorry I didn't record yesterday. And I should have recorded, I guess, before I started recording the merchandise haul. But I was just, I was just so ready to record that merchandise haul. So I just wanted to, I set up and I started going. And I was like, oh yeah, I haven't introduced a weekly vlog. So I apologise, but, oh, I needed to unbox all this stuff. Like, it just makes me so happy like I know it's stupid because it's merchandise but it's I'm getting emotional again calm yourself down Sarah Woo, I'm okay I'm okay there's a hair on my hand uh yeah so oh, I'm just I just want to play with all my stuff now um I'm going to be rearranging these shelves oh, I really want to do it now no we need to record videos Sarah I really, really want to re-record, uh, I really, really want to rearrange these shelves. I think I'm going to do that on Thursday though, like, properly. I might just quickly slip these things that I've just unpackaged into the shelves for the next few videos. Because that section up there is fast becoming aerial and sh that aerial figurine's going to look beautiful in there. I've got some more Aurora stuff. Um, I need to make a Rapunzel section eventually, but I don't have enough at the minute. So yeah, I've got quite a bit to sort out. And the Kylo Ren doll I showed you last week. Or the week before now, actually. Um, he needs to be arranged into the Star Wars section. So, yeah, I really need to sort this out. But I just thought I'd say hi to you. Um, I'm going to get on with recording some more videos. I'm going to do um, a load of Disneyland Paris related videos. While it seems really weird because I'm up and about. And it's still actually quite early. Normally, I don't rec record till late on in the afternoon. So, it's 20 past 1. I've already got, like, one video completely done. Uh, normally, I haven't recorded at, like, 8 o'clock at night. But Matthew has started his full-time job now, um, so it's really important for me to be getting up with him and making use of the day. Like, I'm finished uni now, and I had a nice couple of weeks off from uni with Matthew, but now I need to take it seriously. And I have about 20 Disneyland Paris videos that I'm going to be doing. Some of which are the vlogs, so they're already recorded. Um hotel and room tour lookbook i did while i was there like, i've got so many videos to do with regards to disney paris i also have my usual videos like my disney haul uh june favorites private haul so i really just need to get myself sorted i'm gonna get some videos recorded and i'll get you guys i'm gonna be here oh my god i'll get back to you guys in a minute i'm clearly like way too excited because of this merchandise seriously i need to calm down so hey guys this might seem like a really weird angle hang on i've got this light shining on me okay I've got this light on so because this is quite a dark room if the light's not on um I'm sorry it's kind of like one-sided but never mind so I thought I was going to be rearranging the shelves on Thursday and I still might I still might but I've been putting my merchandise that I bought while I was at Disneyland last week around um like I was saying I was just going to put it on and then rearrange them properly next week but I haven't bought as much as I thought that's going to be going on the shelves. So, like, I don't have a Rapunzel section yet. So, she's just kind of, like, going to be, like, can you see? I'm kind of just going to put her, like, here at the beginning of here, like that. Um, with, like, the little jelly Rapunzel. So, she's just kind of going to go there. And then I've moved this globe. Can you see that? Because now my picture of me and Mickey is on my desk I still need to rearrange my desk though so I've moved that globe there because that was on my desk 
and I've moved the chip that was there inside the other chip and I think that looks okay. Uh, there was a couple of aerial things up here, I think that's out of shot though, yeah. So I've moved the Mulan stuff there, it's just what I showed you before. Um, this cup I'm actually going to be drinking out of, so that doesn't need to go on display. This bowl I'm going to be drinking out of, so that doesn't need to go on display. This is all stuff from my uh, Disneyland Paris merchandise haul. Check it out, it's already up, or it should be by the time this vlog goes up. Um, I haven't decided on what to do with the pin yet. I don't know whether to take it out with the packaging, so I'm just going to leave that for now. What else have I got? The 25th anniversary globe I've just kind of put there. I don't know if you can see that. My ears all have their own place back in my other room to hang up. Yeah, so there's nothing else really to put around. Like I've put my other autograph book there. I think I've already said all this. So I was thinking like, I don't actually know if I need to rearrange them because all my cups are downstairs because I've just got some new cups as well. But they're downstairs so so the only thing left is this Kylo Ren doll so just in case I don't rearrange them on Thursday like I said because I don't actually know if I need to I'm gonna put this I thought I'd like put this Kylo Ren doll in now and just like film me doing it so you can at least see me doing a bit so he's not held in too much he's just got like two things on the back and he's gonna go in this Star Wars section didn't get anything Star Wars while I was away I thought I might because I went in the like, new Star Wars shop outside of Star Tours but I didn't get anything actually. I looked at a few things and I kind of wanted maybe a pen or some glasses or something but there was nothing that really took my fancy. Oh he's clipped in on the, on the bottom here, hang on. Ears everywhere. I really want to stay at home tomorrow and like edit this Disney merchandise video and a load of other things but I have an appointment with like now I see someone for my MA, I don't know if I mentioned it the other week. Um, yeah, I see someone from my ME. I used to and I've started seeing someone again. Um, so like a specialist in ME. So I've started seeing someone from my ME again. So I have an appointment with her in the morning. I don't want to be in town too long because I want to get back and edit this video. And it's not a case of just editing it as fast as I normally can. Which still takes a while because of the system. But I still need to make the outro for my video and the intro took three hours. And... Ugh. I still need to, um, there's another way that I want to show the close-ups of the videos in my videos now, which my old video didn't used to be able to do, but my new one can. Uh, editing system didn't used to be able to do, sorry, but my new one can. So I need to learn how to do that. So hopefully I will get this haul up as quick as I can, but there's still quite a lot I need to learn before I can. How much is he clipped in? It's deceiving. It's deceiving how much he's clipped in, I tell you. See? I haven't had, had like open toys like this since I was younger and I don't have bins so god they know how to clip them in don't they oh my god how is he still tied in oh his feet this is impossible just your head now mate just your head how is that what this is crazy Ugh. what is that what is that how is that? How? How? It's a piece of fabric. Why? Right, I think he's out. Nope. One more. Nope. Is he out? Nope. Ugh. God, how did they get him in here? Right. Oh my god. That was absolutely crazy. I don't even know how they did that. He's still got a, some plastic hanging out the back of him. I have no idea how to get it out. Right, it's staying. I don't know how to get it out. Ah, oh, look at my little Kylo Ren doll. He is so cute. <laughs> that was really cute. I can't believe this was £4.50 in the Disney sale. £4.50, Disney store. Yes. I could change one of his hands so he's like, oh, but I'm just going to like put him in for now. Just because I'm impatient and I want to see what he looks like. Okay, how am I going to get him to stand up? Don't stab anything, Kylo Ren. Okay. <laughs> he seems to be standing. Oh well, he's in. Can you see him? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to have a rearrange, but he's in. Woo! That took some doing. Okay, I'm going to go make myself a cup of tea. And I'm going to start tidying. Oh, there's so much rubbish in here off this hall now. Because they wrap up everything so good when you come out of Disney so that nothing breaks. So I'm going to tidy up here and tidy downstairs. So I'm going to have a quick tidy round and then I'm going to get the dinner started. Go me. Just quickly, I've realised that 
The Sleeping Beauty three fairy Tsum Tsums are there and the Sleeping Beauty section is up there. So I do need to have a little bit of a rearrange. Um, so they're going to be going up there. We've got a little bit done today. I would have recorded me doing the whole thing if I'd realised that I wasn't going to need to rearrange as much. But I've shown you what I've done anyway, so hopefully that's okay. Um, yeah, I've also just realised that I've stood Kylo Ren up and I need to turn that Mickey light off, which is behind him. So he's obviously going to fall over and I'm going to have to stand him up again, which is annoying. But I'm going to get... I'm going to... Do that and then I'm gonna go. So I have to apologise, it's actually quite a few hours later. Um, basically, I don't know if it was, well I think it was just everything, like doing two videos and then I did a load of photos for Instagram and shot all the footage of my like merch individually instead of me just holding it up because I wanna try and like edit the video a different way. Hopefully you'll be able to see that once it's up. Um, so. It just took all day and I was just knackered and then I did a little bit of rearranging here. This lighting's terrible, I look terrible. Also I've had me dinner so my lipstick's like coming off. Anyway, um, so it's actually like nine o'clock because I went downstairs, um, I tidied this room completely and I put like the desk, the, the chair back in here and everything so that I normally put that in the bathroom when I do my videos and then it blocks like Matthew's bathroom. So I went downstairs and then I had about an hour before Matthew was gonna be home from work and as I told you, I wanna be making the dinner, so I sat down for half an hour like really tired and just aching from just the day. And then I made the dinner, made Matthew's lunch for tomorrow and then Matthew came in, we sat down, we watched Pixels and now it's like nine o'clock. So I apologise that I haven't recorded anything else for the, next, the rest of the night. But tomorrow I'm going into town to do a little bit of like shopping in Primark and Disney store um, after my hospital appointment. Um, yeah, so tomorrow should be fun, so I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good morning everybody. Ignore the fact that I'm a mess, but I've had my hospital appointment. It's now Wednesday. Um, I was running around like a lunatic as per usual. Like it wasn't even a really early one. It was half 11. And for some reason today, like I'm trying to get into a proper routine where I'm getting up with Matthew and making the most of my day. Like since I'm at home, like I said. Um, so I had an appointment at half 11. He woke me up when he went out, which is what I've asked him to do from now on. When he leaves, make sure I'm up. And he did. And then I woke up and it was like, 10 o'clock or 10 to 9 or something like that and I was like Ugh. so I got up and had breakfast and then before I knew it it was after 11 the appointment was at half past I needed to get petrol I needed to get money for the car park so I've ended up parking right round from the hospital uh, which made me even later but I rang um the like people at the hospital and said I'm gonna be late and it was absolutely fine so I've had my appointment now and I've just like put a titchy little bit more makeup on I look dead I haven't even tied my hair back like oh I'm such a mess but anyway I'm gonna go to town now woohoo I'm excited I need to nip into uni or for something because it's my graduation next week joy um and then i'm going to go into Primark and i'm going to go into all the fun places disney store and do a little bit of shopping and then we'll see how i feel i might call in and see my sister afterwards but i'm not sure because i want to get back and get that um merchandise haul like sorted i still need to do the outro for my youtube and i want to get it up because people are dying for it i mean i went to disney last week and i still haven't sorted out like any videos like up on my youtube so I'm, i apologize but uh yeah so so they're coming it's just taking me a long time to get this intro and outro sorted but anyway i'm gonna go around to newcastle now and do some shopping and i will take you with me
this it's probably going to seem a bit confusing because last thing you've seen I was probably eating a burrito and now I'm wearing different clothes and it is actually a few days later. So while I was out at the shops I got some not so good news. Um, I don't really want to talk about it and I'm sure you guys will appreciate it and you are always great. So that happened on Thursday and I needed to deal with it and it was quite a big thing as well. Um, so I took Thursday, I took like the rest of the night off because I couldn't think of anything else and then on Thursday I kind of planned to speak to you again but then a completely unrelated another big horrible thing happened as well so I had some more like completely unrelated to the other thing news so that was really crappy um so I didn't record on Thursday and yesterday Friday because it was just stuff I needed to deal with and sort out so I haven't recorded the last few days and I apologize today is Saturday and Matthew's got the day off so I think I recorded us making cupcakes on Thursday night a little bit but I can't really remember um, I literally, even if I hadn't been in such a bad mood, I spent the last two days at the computer so Thursday I made a new int uh, outro for my videos um, and managed to do like the little Instagram pop-ups things in my video and then I did my Disneyland merchandise haul, like edited it and got it up and the response on that was amazing and really helped to make me feel so much better. Um, it's had like nearly 4,000 views in just over a day, which is crazy. And then I, on Friday, so yesterday, I spent the whole day making new intros and outros um, for just the Disney vlogs. And then I edited the first part of my Disneyland Paris vlog, which was nice to edit back because it was nice to have those memories. Um, so that went up yesterday as well. So I've stuck to three videos a week for this week at least. So if you haven't seen them already, check out my Disneyland merchandise and vlog part one and travel day um, vlogs. They both have gone up. I'll leave the links below, but I'm sure they're just somewhere on my channel. But me and Matthew are going to go out now. Um, we're going to go to a barbecue, which is part of his um, gym. Has like He does CrossFit um, and they're having a barbecue. So it's kind of getting on and we're a bit late. Surprise, surprise, I'm always late. So we're going to go have a barbecue and we're going to have a nice day and we're not going to think about things. And <laughs> um, we're going to do a bit of shopping and yeah, just see where the day takes us. So let us go and have a nicer day than the last few. shiny I am because it's been such a hot day today and my lipstick is completely it doesn't look too bad on here but in real life there's just a rim around my lips it's hilarious but it's actually nine o'clock it's three minutes past nine so really all me and Matthew did today was look around we had that barbecue but I didn't film anything because I didn't actually know anybody there like I said earlier it was stuff from Matthew's um CrossFit uh, group so it was just people I didn't know and then we Went to a couple of shops, pets at home, needed some stuff for the rabbit, um, pound world. I got my hair dye because I need to like look at my roots. I really need to dye my hair because I'm graduating on Tuesday. I have no idea how to do my makeup for graduation or how to dress. Like apparently you have to wear some sort of something with a top button so you can clip like the gown here. But my sister said she just wore like a higher up dress and then it clipped on. So I have no idea what to wear. Um, I don't know how to do my makeup because I always do bright lips and stuff and I don't know if you should do that for graduation because you should make your pictures look timeless but then again a bright lip is timeless it's not I don't know I don't know what I'm doing I need to sort it out so that's on Tuesday so I got my hair dye so Matthew's going to do my roots and then I'm going to do my colour 
but it's going to be quite dark like when I first dye it too dark for how I wanted it for the pictures so I might have to dye it a little bit lighter and then dye it in two weeks time again or three weeks time like I did before Disney I don't know but I'm blabbing so yeah we were just went to a couple of shops and then we went around my sister's for about four hours just under just hanging out with her and seeing my nephew my uh, Matthew hasn't seen our nephew for a couple of weeks it was nice for him to see him so we set up my sister's um tv properly for it and the cat was like playing with some uh birds on the screen i think i recorded a bit of that it was really funny she was doing it for ages and then we're starving so we've come home and matthew's just made some fajitas and they're ready now so i'm going to really quickly take my makeup off and then we're going to go downstairs and have some fajitas and maybe just stick a movie on so i'm sorry today was probably quite boring but i don't know we just needed some things at the shops but they weren't very interesting shops and the stuff that i bought on wednesday at the shops i will show you tomorrow so i'm just in the house all day tomorrow i've got quite a lot to do video editing wise and stuff before my graduation because i've got quite a busy week next week so i'm gonna go and get me dinner and if i don't get back to it tonight it's just because we're chilling um so we're just gonna have like fajitas and stuff um otherwise i will speak to you tomorrow can we just talk about though how cute these pajamas are how nice are these they're so cute weird thing is though one of these legs fits a lot tighter than the other one and it feels really weird and i don't know why but yeah <laughs> So hey guys, I probably look like an absolute crazy person because I'm dyeing my roots. Now I did try to do a time lapse of Matthew doing my roots, but the camera died and when you've got bleach all over your hands, I couldn't really change the battery, but to be honest, I don't know how interesting it would have been. Um, yeah, so this is basically the situation. I need to wash it off though, it's ready to come off and I don't want to leave it on for too long. So it's my graduation on Tuesday, so I just have so much to do like unbelievable how much I've got to do I feel like I'm always saying that as well and I did promise to show you things today but I need to wash this off I'm gonna wash this off and then if I'm too tired because I'm still not having a great week to be honest like I'm still a bit stressed still not in a great mood if it's still kind of that kind of mind frame after I've washed this off and had a bath then I will show you the stuff I bought tomorrow because I realise this weekly vlog's been craptastic and then we'll get on with the next weekly vlog after that tomorrow. And I do have a lot to do, but I will make time for it because my weekly vlogs are important to me. It's just been a bit of a bad week. So I'm going to wash this off. And if I don't get back to you, even though it's Monday tomorrow, I will catch up with you. Um, I've literally been at the computer all day just doing blog posts and just things that need doing before this week because I've got quite a busy week. So I will get back to you. If not after I've washed this off, then tomorrow. Um... And I know it's a Monday, but I'll get back to you and then we'll start the next weekly vlog. So, I'll get back to you guys tomorrow. It's just I'm in a rush to wash this off. I just wanted to speak to you first. Um, I, I'm going to wash this off now. So, hey guys. It is the next day. Um, when I got out of the bath last night, Matthew was asleep in bed because he obviously works full time now. So, I couldn't really be like, hey guys. Um, I want to apologise for this week. I feel like it's probably been really boring. Not much gone on. I haven't recorded properly and it really hurts to do that like I love my YouTube and I love recording and I love doing weekly vlogs and it's just I've just not had a good week I've had two lots of bad news um I'm not in a good place mentally if I'm honest I'm still gonna weekly vlog but because I think it would hurt me more not to do it but I know you guys are great and you don't understand so please just Bear with me while I'm sorting myself out. Um, it's nothing for you guys to worry about. So I'm just going to try and stay positive and um, I'm going to try and keep myself busy this week and do other things to keep my mind off it. But I do realise that the vlog has been craptastic. So I will just show you what I did buy at the shops last week while I was in Primark and while I was at Disney Store. And then I'll round off the vlog and again I apologise that it's been pretty crappy. Um, and then it is actually Monday, which I've never done this before. I've never overran on a weekly vlog. So I will be starting the next weekly vlog as soon as I finish this bit, if that makes sense. Um, and I'm going to try and make sure that I give you a better weekly vlog this week coming. So next week for you guys, but this week for me. So I'll quickly show you what I bought. Um, I have a lot going on this week. So I've got my graduation. 
I've got my little brother's graduation. He's going into secondary school and they now have like graduation ceremonies. Um, yeah, I've got, I've got things happening. So hopefully I'll take my mind off it. I've got a lot of videos coming out this week. I've got the second part of my Disneyland vlog, which I can't wait to edit because it really cheered me up when I edited the last one. I've got obviously the weekly vlog, which if you're watching now, I got it up. <laughs> And then I've got 15 tips for Disneyland Paris coming on Wednesday. And if it's not Wednesday because I didn't manage to do it before my graduation, then it'll be Thursday because I'm basically out all day tomorrow and the next day. Um, so I need to get the weekly vlog done today. I need to get the 15 tips video done. I also need to dye my hair for my graduation tomorrow. Uh, I've just got a lot to do. So I will but definitely be putting three videos up at least this week. And I might even put an extra one up at the weekend and do four videos this week. Uh, but we'll see. Um, yeah, I've just got a lot to do and I'm not in the best place mentally. But never mind. So let me show you what epic things I managed to buy before I got bad news. So the rabbit literally just did this to the bag. Literally just did this. He loves to destroy Primark bags. If you know rabbits, they like paper and cardboard. And he loves to destroy Primark bags. And he just did this. How crazy is he? He hasn't seen this bag because I brought it straight upstairs on Wednesday. I came straight to bed. Wasn't in the best mood. And uh, yeah, he decided that he wasn't happy about that because he likes to destroy the Primark bags. Hope you can see me properly. Okay, so that's just some tissue from Disney Store because I bought three cups in Disney Store, which I'll show you them in a second. There was a lot of tops in the sale. Like Primark's got a sale on at the minute. Um, I feel like a lot of places have sales on, which only can mean one thing, that the autumn stuff will be rolling out in the next couple of weeks, which... One is a bit kind of like, I can't believe it's going to be autumn soon because it will just fly around. Once the stuff's out in stores, you'll be like, oh, it's too early for autumn. And then all of a sudden it's autumn. So that's pretty crazy. But at the same time, it means you get to get some really cool things in the sale. So I picked up this. I wanted this when it was full price. Um, it was £8 and then I got it for 3 They only had size 12s in, but I tried it on the fitting rooms and it was quite a nice, um, quite a nice size. If you can hear things, the rabbits on the floor are going crazy. So it is green sequence of like the mushroom from Mario. He probably has a technical name. And then I don't know if you can see this, but if you go like that, can you see that? He turns into a red mushroom. So I wanted this when it came out. I just didn't want to pay eight pound for it. Um, so I was quite happy when I seen it for three. So then you move the sequence up and then he's a red mushroom. I think that's really cute. So yeah, I like that. And it's one of those Primark tops that are really boxy and short. So getting it in a big size just makes it a bit longer. So I was happy I got that for £3. There was quite a few tops that I was going to get in the sale. And I mean quite a few. But I was really good. I'm trying to be good because I want to go to Disneyland um, for Halloween. So I'm trying to be good. And I, I have spent a lot of money on merchandise lately. And I did buy three cups. So I put a lot of the sale tops back. I was going to get the My Little Pony one with the sequins hair and on the white top. But it just didn't fit that nice, so I left that one. Even though it was £3, I don't know, I, I, I was trying to be good. But there's a lot of new Mickey stuff out, which I'm sure you'll have seen. I'm pretty sure I recorded that, I don't know. But um, I got this, so it is the like hoodie kind of crop, the Mickey one. I know it's grey and I'm quite into my pastels, but I tried it on and I just really liked it for being comfy. And then um, I tried it on with the new Mickey leggings, which I also bought, and it, they just went so well. I kind of want the new mini trainers. I don't know if I showed you them. I feel like I did. Um, but at the same time, I have so many Mickey trainers at the minute. I was like, hmm, I might get them if they go in the sale in a few weeks. But for now, I just got this. So it is just a Mickey sweat, like cropped sweatshirt, jumper, hoodie, whatever you want to call it. It's just plain on the back. Um, so this was 10, which I was kind of like, hmm, that's quite a lot. But when I tried it on, it was so like, kind of casual chic, considering it's Disney. And it just fit really nice. And I was like, oh, you know what it is? I'm going to get it. So I got that. And then I absolutely love, oh, that's my headphones. I absolutely love my other Disney leggings from Primark. Um, I've worn them quite a lot. You can see them on my Instagram. And um, they don't sell them anymore. And they fit really, really nice. And I've lost them. And I have no idea where they are. And I tried to find them for Disney. For when I went for Disneyland. Um, just over a week ago now. I can't believe it's been over a week since I was in Disney. And I have no idea where they are. Like I'm sure I'll find them. I'm sure I will find them. But at the same time. Like I have had them quite a few months now. So I thought it's 
time to get a new pair. So these were eight. So they've got the M there from Mickey. And then it says Mickey. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to show you this. It says Mickey down the leg like that. And then there's his head as well. I do actually have another pair of Mickey leggings from Primark that I don't wear as much. They're just black and then they say in white Mickey Mouse down the side. And I think they say Mickey Mouse on the the band, but I don't wear them that much because they're not as pretty as my other ones. Because I don't feel like you see the band very much, so there's just Mickey on the side. So with that being there, I feel like you'll see that even with a t-shirt on. And then, I don't know, I just prefer colour. So it says Mickey down there with like his head. So they were eight and they fit really nice. I can tell they're the same shape as my other ones that are my favourite ones. My other Mickey leggings from Primark are just kind of general leggings shaped and they don't fit as nice. So I got that. There was quite a lot of um, these in. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this for myself or if it's going to go in my giveaway. But it's basically just a Minnie Mouse purse. Little tassel and a butterfly on the side. Plain on the back. And it says £3.00. And it stays three pound. It was three pound. Um. So yeah, I got that. Oh, it's proper making me miss Disneyland. I, like honestly, I've got the worst Disneyland blues ever. Like I feel like with the week I've had as well. It's it's typical, isn't it? I had such a good week at Disneyland, the week before, that of course the week when I came back was going to be horrifically horrible. You can't have that much good without bad. So. And if I have to have all that bad this week to compensate for the all the good I had at Disneyland Paris, then I'll take it. Because even though Disneyland Paris was just a holiday, it meant so much to me. And I will treasure it forever. And I have the vlogs to look back on. I have the memories. I had good times with Matthew and my friends. Like, I'll take the bad if it means I get to go to Disney once in a while. And then the last thing I got was these. Um... I have a pair of pink shoes like this, but I bought them quite a while ago before my feet shrunk. My feet actually shrunk about a year and a half ago, I want to say, or a year ago. So in heels, I used to be a six. Um, in flat shoes, I'm still... A, no, in flat shoes, when my foot's flat, I used to be a seven. And in heels, I used to be a six. But now in flat shoes, I'm a six. And in heels, I'm a five. So my feet literally shrunk a whole size. I don't know how. My mum said her feet shrunk when she was my age as well. So my feet shrunk. So my pink fluffy ones, as epic as they are, I can't really wear them. I could wear them for photos and things, but if I was gonna actually be going out in them, I wouldn't be able like they'd be a little bit too big and wouldn't be very easy to walk in as if they fitted me properly. So I see these and there was dark pink, there was silver with pink fluff, and then there was purple. And I'm not a massive fan of purple. In fact, I used to really dislike purple, but because I'm getting more into my pastels, I'm starting to like certain shades of purple more. So when I saw these, I was like, well, I already have the pink ones, and I don't really want dark pink, and I don't really want the silver with the light pink, and these are actually a really nice colour, because my pink ones are still displayed, like, they're in the Aurora section on my shelves in my YouTube background. So I thought, you know what, they're actually really nice, and I got the purple. So there were 14... No, it doesn't say. I'm sure there were. There were 14 and they went down to 7. So I can actually wear those now. I've got some fluffy heels that I can wear again that fit me. And I just thought the colour was really nice. And I really want to do a Rapunzel section in my shelves. And these will be perfect in that shelf. So even though I don't go out very much. And I haven't bought myself heels in a long time because I don't go out very much. I did want these. I thought the £7. I've been dying to get some more fluffy heels that will actually fit me. Because my pink ones don't anymore. And there were seven, so I got those, so I really like them. And that was all I got from Primark. Like I said, I was really good. I tried to be really good. I'll go and grab the cups, two seconds. Okay, so I've got the three cups. Um, I knew I was going to be getting two of these cups, definitely. Um, so basically, there's a new princess collection out. I did say this, like I said, once the other collection goes in the sale, there's a new collection coming out, and the new collection is normally summer. And then January, so the next princess collection will be January. And I also said as well, once I start buying the princess collection, it normally goes in the sale. And that happened as well. So I bought one a week later, they went in the sale. And then now the new collection's out. So I'm getting quite good with judging when the princess cups will come out. The annoying thing is, is that I bought the Cinderella one. Um, the Ariel one I got in the sale, the two days before I went to Disney, um, I showed you... 
like the last collection i'm pretty sure i showed you that when i bought that last time a couple of weeks ago and if i didn't it'll be my disney haul and then just before i went to disney like i said the princess cup collection the last one the like really pretty like curved ones like that they went in the sale and when they were in the sale i was looking at them i was like you know what i actually really like them now that i've got the cinderella one and i know it's actually not as small as i thought for a cup of tea i think i actually want the whole collection so i've never seen a tiana one in any of the Disney stores near me. Apparently someone told me that she was not in the UK. So I have Cinderella, I bought Ariel in the sale and I was looking and they were all there in the sale. So there was Rapunzel and Snow White. And for the sale price, I actually kind of did end up wanting the Snow White one because I didn't get the Snow White one in my last like cup collection either. So I don't know why I didn't want the Snow White cup. I think she's just, it's not that I don't like her, she's just not particularly one of my favorites. Like I don't watch her movie very much. I don't own a lot of stuff. For her um like everybody has the favorites and the not favorites i don't dislike her she's just not a favorite but then when they're in the sale i was like you know what i actually kind of want the rapunzel and the snow white one so i got the ariel one because i was like right i'm going to disneyland in two days i'll get ariel and when i come back because i want to save my money i don't want to spend all my money on cups now and then not be able to have and then i'll have less money in disneyland to spend so i was like i'll get ariel now in the sale and then when i come back if i can't get the other two then it wasn't meant to be and then when i went in the disney store the only cup that was left in the sale out of the last princess collection was loads of cinderella ones which is ironic because she was one of the hardest ones to get before the sale so all the ones had sold out so i only have two cups from the last collection which is typical but i'm not that fussed um so the new collection's out i knew i wanted them i actually went in for jasmine i wanted to start with jasmine but i ended up coming away with ariel so um, of course I did. So there's Ariel, you've probably seen them, Belle, Jasmine and Rapunzel. I probably will get the whole collection this time. Um, I don't know, they're not, like, I think my favourite cup princess collection is two collections ago. So the one towards the end of last year, I got all of them ones apart from Snow White. They're just really pretty. Like, they're on my Instagram if you're interested in seeing, like, a collection of the whole, a picture of the whole collection. So this time I got Ariel quite a funky shape it's got like that bit there so it's got ariel and flounder heart as big as the ocean and then ariel there with like a seahorsey so i think this was actually the princess cups collections are normally only about eight pound so this was it was eight pound which i think is quite good because it's quite hefty it's quite big and it's quite thick as well because of like the rim um, so that was eight. I think the next one I get will be Rapunzel or Jasmine, then the other one, and then the Belle one. Um, just because I don't have as much Jasmine Rapunzel stuff, so I want to try and get them first before I get Belle's cup. But I do think I want the whole collection of these. At the minute, they're kind of selling out, not selling out. Some stores have got the stock in when you go out just because everyone's after them. But if they do go out of stock, they will be on sale in the stores until like november then december they'll probably sell out a lot because it's christmas and then january if there's any left they'll go in the sale so bear that in mind if you're after them so the next cup i wanted was Baymax. i had seen a picture of him on um instagram like a couple of people's instagrams i didn't realize he was this big i knew i wanted him um but when i like got into the store and seen him he's even more beautiful than you think i thought he would just be a plain white cup with this and it probably is not coming across on camera but he's actually like matte and he's massive he is massive which i love and then inside it's got like the more tea you drink the happier you get like because obviously he's meant to be like a nurse kind of oh what's he called oh you know what i mean he's meant to like help people with the health and stuff so he's got like a plaster thing on the back because obviously he pops himself doesn't he in the movie he pops his arms he's got that and then inside if you can see that so you can see like if your tea's full you're not going to be very happy and then the more tea you drink the happier you get i just thought it was really cute so this one was a bit more expensive um probably because of his size so this one was 12.99 i want to say um i do use my disney life discount code like every time i go into disney store if you don't know what that is disney life basically the app gives you a discount in the disney store um i've had it since like god last summer i've had it probably almost a year now and i always always use it in stores so I got that one. And then this one's a bit wet because it needs a wash. So I just had it soaking in the um, the sink because I don't like them to get dirty inside. Um, so this one I remember seeing when the movie came out. And I, I wasn't like too fussed on it. But then when I realised that he disappeared in hot water, Hank, 
which he's my favorite character in the movie and he's always disappearing and i just think it's really cute and it's like naughty so i really wanted it but for the price i was like i'll think about it i'll think about it um i think he was meant to be like 9.99 or something and then he disappeared from the stores and i was like fair enough wasn't meant to be and then he was in the sale there was loads of them i was like oh they must have had some left and yeah because the movie came out like beginning of the year last year i can't even remember so i think it was last year i don't know but yeah so i was like well it's in the sale and i did want it and it's come back into the store so i'll get it so it is a bit wet so apologies it's just blue inside it needs a wash um yeah so if you put hot water in it he disappears um and it does actually work it's quite cool so i'll show you that one so it's got like hank there i just thought it was cute i think i got it for like six pound in the sale and it was meant to be ten and like I said, I didn't think he was in stores anymore. So I thought, oh, you know what? I'm just going to get him. And that was everything I got. Um, I'll be honest. I'm surprised I didn't come out with more cups, especially the mood I was in. I'd already had my first lot of bad news while I was doing my shopping. Um, but yeah, like I said, guys, I'm really sorry if this one's been negative. I don't want to have a negative YouTube channel. I don't want to be putting negative vibes out there. I had such a good time in Disney like last week and in editing back my Disney vlog and like merch haul and the vlogs is just it's, I've already watched my own vlog back so many times like it's nice to watch back because it's like my memories as well it's not just like for you guys it's nice for me to watch back Matthew's watched it loads of times Jamie and Beth have watched it so I'm looking forward to editing the next one and that will be up on Friday. So yeah, I apologise if this week's been boring. And I know loads of you will be like, stop apologising Sarah. But I do feel like I need to apologise. I'm just not in a great mood. I can tell I'm not. And I apologise. So hopefully things will get better. And I'm going to try and be a better weekly vlogger this week. I'm still trying to do three videos a week. I managed last week. So I will try my hardest to manage this week. So thank you for watching if you did manage to watch for this long. Again, I apologise. And I'll see you in my next video. Stay positive, guys. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.